Okay. All right, we are still on the record. You have a motion or two to make then. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the defense would like to move for a motion for a directed verdict. Uh, as Your Honor is aware, a motion for a directed verdict is uh, the evidence is viewed in the light most favorable to the Commonwealth. Based on all the evidence that we have heard today, um, most specifically uh, about the standardized field sobriety testing administration and uh, uh, performance by Ms. Brock, uh, the testimony of the trooper was completely incongruent with the performance by Ms. Brock that we saw clearly on video. Uh, I believe the officer noted that he saw seven out of eight clues on the walk and turn and then three out of four clues on the uh, one leg stand as well as four clues on the HGN. Uh, none of those were visible on video, especially the HGN because her head was turned in the opposite direction. Um, we have heard testimony about the blood sample that has been extracted from Ms. Brock which I believe is all but clear at this point to the court that it is a compromised blood result. Uh, the lab tech all but admitted, uh, finally after I got her to admit that if you have a sample that has been in some way, shape, or form contaminated, uh, then her results would be contaminated and uh, unreliable. As well as the, um, I apologize, my, my head just froze for a second. Um, it's the heat in this room. I, I swear, it's it, it messes with your head. HVAC issues. Yes, yeah, so it's the whole system is going down. So yeah. The um, the nurse, thank you, brain. The nurse at the jail uh, admitted that she did not disinfect the area prior to extracting blood from Miss Brock, thereby admitting that it's a contaminated. Uh, environment where the blood was extracted and the analyst thereafter testified that there are two completely unknown volatiles in the blood sample um, that she tested that she said was Ms. Brock's and uh, therefore first of all the 136 is completely unreliable in this case as the state's experts have proven us uh, and secondly due to the uh, failure to see the congruence between the clues that the officer wrote in his citation about the field sobriety tests that we don't see on video, they are completely missing. I think it, even viewing all this evidence in the light most favorable to the Commonwealth, the court would have no choice other than to render a direct verdict for the defense. Thank you. Your response, Ms. Baird. Uh, judge, to a degree, Ms. Foreman is correct that at this juncture we view the evidence in the light most favorable to the Commonwealth. Uh, however, what he failed to point out is the standard is whether or not a reasonable juror could find this defendant guilty. Um, I'm not even going to get into some of the fabricated statements that were just made. Um, there was no testimony that the sample was compromised. That may be his interpretation, but we have not heard any evidence of that. And I think that Mr. Foreman is conflating his opinion and the facts that have been put forth on the record. Um, at this juncture, there has been evidence that there was bad driving, that she was not wearing a seatbelt, that she had an open alcohol beverage in the, in the vehicle, that she never produced an insurance card, and that she was impaired. Between the field sobriety test, her own statements, the officer's testimony, both on the stand and what we can see in the video, as well as a properly uh, um, introduced uh, blood test results, um, a reasonable juror could obviously find guilt in this case on all charges. Yes, uh, we can uh, suppose all day long that some sample was contaminated, but there's no proof, and maybe you intend to introduce some proof when you're, um, uh, when you, when we pass the case to you, when you introduce your witnesses. Uh, but uh, no, as of right now, the test is solid, and uh, the testimony of the um, trooper, Trooper Wright, uh, is uh, seemingly consistent you know, with what we saw on the video. Now, of course, we didn't see the horizontal gaze and nystagmus, but, uh, you know, uh, even at, you, before we had dash cams, we just had the testimony of the officer. And I'm relying on his testimony as an experienced and trained officer as to what he saw, the clues, and uh, his decision whether or not to arrest Ms. Brock that evening uh, was trustworthy. And I will overrule the 
motion, but it's duly noted. Thank you, Your Honor.